from Sea Cousins. Welcome back guys to a brand new video on my channel. Well guys today once again I'm playing Minecraft and today I have a pretty pretty cool update for you. Um there's gonna be quite a bit in this video so bear with me but I am actually gonna start over with the pub. What was that frame drop for some reason? Um as you can see it's much darker in there now and that's because I've now replaced all the torches on the walls with these these are redstone lamps. Um, I tried to make them look a bit like fans and um as I said last time, why is there a slab missing? Um, these slabs are actually covering up the redstone, and uh, well, they they were covering up, weren't they? I don't know. Um, at least I thought they were covering up. Um, hey, Spidey. Um, the redstone used for uh, the roulette table. There, there we are. Um, also wherever I've uh, got these I have redstone uh, blocks above them just so then Spidey you're in the way um, just so then they do end up always powered and actually give off a decent amount of light as you can see here I've also uh, you know this this uh, in in this pub at the moment it's just minor improvements just every so often um, I actually have bar stools now this is the smallest design I could get which uh, looked decently like a bar stool um, and also in the toilets I have this new toilet build which I found out about I actually might put it on the yeah I think I might put it on the left actually instead of on the right the right's a bit weird because then people can see right up to the window but press that it's supposed to look flush but it does open and close still um, still same wash basins uh, however a lot of changes are actually upstairs thank you um, and I think that I've done quite a good job on just, you know, just general improvements in this video. First of all, yes, we have strikingly bright yellow carpet. That's because this carpet is, you know, except from here, unfortunately, um, this carpet's actually been used to cover up. Uh, since downstairs, I do have the redstone lamps. Of course, they do need a redstone block. Otherwise, it's not powered if you don't have a redstone block somewhere around it, you know. Um, and that meant that I had to have redstone blocks every so often under here so to cover up them and also the rest of the carpet I just put down yellow I think it f fit the gambling theme bit for some reason I'm stands have gone weird again I expect that will happen every single time that I look at uh, that I rejoin the game every time I've logged out however you might note something different and something weird well the weird thing is that these aren't there it's extremely annoying but the new thing is that we've got this this is a dartboard uh, these, they may look like arrows pointing towards it, they are, but they're also cupboards. And the cupboards are where you store the arrows, or they can just be arrows on display. Either works, um, but yeah, this is supposed to be a dartboard. I think it works quite well, actually. I think the effect is pretty good. It's literally just black wall, item frame, then red wall. I was actually going to put um, vines, put vines on the actual black block, it's, uh, the black block itself, uh, the, you know, the wall. Um, it should have created sort of like the vine should have created the effect of it being like divided up in small segments. However, that didn't work because um, you know I already had something on it and that doesn't work in Pocket Edition, which is extraordinarily annoying. However, I don't know why it still says one. Probably just take that off. Bye. Um, but yeah, the inn I've now put flooring down as well because somewhere around here, where is it? One of these blocks had a redstone block underneath it. Where is it? That, that spider's annoying me now. I can't find it, but it's um somewhere underneath there, and now I have to get carpet to patch that up. Damn it. Um, but I thought that I used red because I thought it would with the bed. I guess it does. Plus this is the first colour that came to mind. I thought red, blue. Yeah, that makes sense. In this room, I've got yellow and uh, yellow and blue. I don't know why there's carpet missing there, but um, yeah, there's no reason at all behind that. Uh, also, you might realise that I have my headphones on today. You probably wouldn't have realised that actually, but it's just so then the thing that happened in the last episode didn't happen. Um, I also have this lampy lamp, which I really like. It's literally just two end rods. Uh, this one's, the bottom one's the right way up, the second one's upside down, and at the top it's just um, pillared quartz block, because it looks, I thought at least, a bit like sort of ripples in like a sort of fabric curtain thing. 
and then the last room which is extraordinarily different <laughs> now instead of just being a massive toilet it's now a bath and a very long sink and a toilet which i think is on which i think eh, it fits in a bit it's it's extremely tall the toilet's as tall as i am in real life it it's not, it's not that tall i don't have tall toilets i'm not like some tall toilet guy Just saying as well the reason i'm seeing through those doors is because the toilets sort of get in the way a bit um i have also removed i might actually have to make this area look a bit better because it just looks like a hole in the floor which it literally is um originally i had like bonuses going around but then that meant that i couldn't put a carpet there and that is pretty much oh yeah i also have to add in some lights in here don't know when i'm gonna do that i might not this spider's really annoying me right now um I'm just going to go ahead and kill it because, um, why not? But, yeah, in this episode, it's mainly just improvements, at least in the pub itself. It's all improvements. I haven't really added anything. Um, don't know why I collected that stuff. I didn't need it. Oh, God, what sort of glitch is that? Um, oh, it's not a glitch. It's just, never mind. Um, so ne <laughs> sorry, I thought that quartz on that windmill was, like, nothing. I'll show you that afterwards as well. Um, I also have two market stalls, uh, I tried to have colours which blended in, I think this one works slightly better than the one behind me, but I don't know what I'm going to have with them, they'll probably all be selling different stuff, you know, I might lock some villages in here just to make it a bit better, I also might lock some villages behind the pub, that's a recommendation that I got, and then the last thing is what I just about, the windmill, um, this is basically, well I, I quite like it, I realised one thing whilst building it though, that you see these four blocks, yeah it was supposed to be, I wanted it to be on a one block, I wanted this to be one block wide because then it would look way more realistic, but I built it in like a, a circle, which meant that it, it had to be two blocks wide, which although I'm better at two block wide stuff make, means it looks a bit weird now, but you know you've got like the rounded top, go it um corners slightly it like narrows oops, slightly as you go up and the middle there's nothing inside there whatsoever except from just a few random torches which i just placed around just to make sure that no mobs spawned in there but i want that to be basically i want the bottom floor to be a bakery so it's going to be a bakery down here um the level above that i want to be able to have some sort of i want it to make i want to make it look like there's like some cogs or you know mill grinding things and uh so bakery down here cog mill grind here and then right at the top i don't know why i'm actually gonna have it but i want it to be a house uh and if i can't get some house if i can't get a house in that then i'll just i'll make some houses originally that actually was a house uh the bakery i made a horrendously bad house which i then took down with tnt which meant that now, the, uh, a lot of this floor is literally just one block thick. Not that one. I'll see if I can find an example. Uh, here? Yeah, see? It's like a massive area underneath here. Which is where, you know, I, I blew this all up by accident. Not on purpose. Not that sort of guy. Um, but there's also loads of water down there, which you could hear inside the windmill, which I hated a lot. So I... I cleared some, I just destroyed all the source box with a grass, um, in fact no I did it with, I didn't do it with grass, I did it with, um, these things, planks, um, but yeah that was a house, I turned it into this, which I actually made in a redstone testing world, should have called it building world, not testing world, but, um, therefore I think I might just actually, does that end look better now? No, definitely not. Um, but, guys, I think that is it. So that's all I've got time for today. If you like the video, make sure to slap that like button. And as the sun sets, make sure to subscribe if you did really like it. But thanks, uh, but guys, thanks so much for watching the video. And until next time, guys, peace out. That is it. Woohoo!